Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your outlook for June 9th, 2016. And we're going to have high pressure now in control of our weather. Not going to be quite as cool as yesterday. It was actually quite cool yesterday afternoon and breezy with those uh, after those thunderstorms moved through. Did some damage down here with some high wind gust over 60 miles per hour reported down in the Philadelphia area with some uh, damage to trees and power lines, many without power because of that. So a little unexpected in some regard. We only had a marginal risk yesterday from the Storm Prediction Center. So it won't be that cool today. Still will be below normal though. High pressure is going to be sitting right about here across the Ohio Valley and we're going to have uh, winds that are going to be a little breezy yet, but they're coming in out of the west-northwest today. Uh, temperatures still should get into the 70s today, so we're not going to be dealing with the 50s that we had in the afternoon yesterday. So uh, still that trough axis still hanging around here over the over the uh, northeastern United States, but we won't be as chilly as yesterday. Moving this forward, uh, Friday we're going to start to moderate a little bit. going to be mostly sunny again. And uh, temperatures will get into the middle to upper 70s, maybe near 80 uh, down towards Philadelphia. So it'll be a nice afternoon again on Friday with mostly sunny skies. Saturday is a different story. We have a uh, system moved on our north that's going to drag a cold front through the area and some storms that are going to move through the area, uh, probably from northwest from the Great Lakes down to the southeast. And that does have the potential to bring severe weather to our area on Saturday. Let's go over to the NAM and just take a look at what this is doing here on Saturday also. This is a look at Saturday morning. You see it's starting to gather up here by the Great Lakes at this point and it's going to move down to the southeast uh, during the course of the afternoon. Here's early afternoon and late afternoon. You can see some uh, pretty good a pretty good line of storms moving from the Great Lakes down to uh, the, the s southeastern portions of our coverage area throughout the course of the day. So there will be an opportunity for severe weather. Right now, the most recent information I had, and this is probably going to be updated again today. We have this on our weather alerts page every single day. Uh, but this is the area the outlined that has been outlined by the Storm Prediction Center to have a slight risk for severe storms on day four which would be Sunday. Now this does have the opportunity to change and move a little bit further east from the most recent update it has moved east. So I do expect this to move eastward if guidance holds. So just uh, be on the lookout for severe weather on Saturday. Uh, and again, some of the short range, mo range models and the globals are indicating some thunderstorm activity that could be severe uh, if that cold front just dragged through and brings those storms out ahead of it. So we'll watch that for Saturday. After that, uh, we dry out here for Sunday, and we're back to uh, mostly sunny skies for a couple days until we get to Tuesday, and then uh, we don't have another opportunity for maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Most of this activity is focused west of the area, so it's a little too early to tell whether or not that's going to be coming further east also. Uh, right now, we'll just uh, give a low, low chance probabilities for any kind of activity on Tuesday, but right now it looks like uh, Sunday is going to be a little bit cooler than uh, Monday after that cold front comes through Saturday night. Uh, so, so Sunday will be a little bit cooler and then even cooler on Monday, but not quite as cool as this current shot. Another little trough is going to settle in, but that's going to be focused kind of like this over over this area here. The trough axis is going to come down here over New England. So we'll just be getting clipped by that and then temperatures will get back into the 70s again for Monday for many locations, but then we're back at the 80s again, it looks like, for Tuesday. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for June 9th, 2016. Have a great day.